welcome back to the Paddle and Fin Podcast Network. We're brought to you by Yak Gadget. For all your kayak fishing accessory needs, go to yakgadget.com. Pelican cases, coolers, and lighting. Go to pelican.com. The 153 Bait Company. For all your hard and soft bait needs, go to the 153anglers.com. Now let's get this show started. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Reel Down. Uh, glad to be here. I'm your host, as always, Jimmy Skinner. Uh, for anybody checking us out on YouTube right now or checking it out on Facebook, you will we'll see I'm by myself. Uh, Drew was hopping over to do a little talk and announcement over on the uh, Hobie show uh, that's leading up to the TOC. Um, most of y'all that you know follow him knew he was asking for some prayers. They got uh, a few things going on. You know, it's not my business to get into any of that, but you know, everybody's prayers are with him. That you know, if you know what's going on, or you follow his wife and everything, uh, you know, again, just prayers out there. But uh, he was taking the night off, and uh, other than doing that, and. Uh, I wanted to use this as a time to do something just a little bit different that I've been wanting to do. Uh, you know, for anybody that maybe this is your first time listening in, this is kind of what that show is about. Uh, you know, normally we're going over tournament talk, uh, kind of really anything to do with tournaments, really, uh, tournament preparation, getting kind of in the mind of some of these guys, um, hearing how the tournaments went, covering different clubs all over the country, as well as following a lot of the national trail stuff. Uh, what I wanted to do today was just do a little bit shorter show. Um, so first off, I'll apologize to anybody that, you know, loves having that hour long show for, you know, a drive in the morning or something like that. This one will be a little bit shorter, but, uh, you'll probably be sick of hearing me talk by the end of it anyway. So, but we just, uh, or I say we, just me, I just wanted to kind of do a, a winding down show, uh, let y'all know kind of what's been going on with reel down a little bit how we do things and what we're kind of moving towards going into the quote unquote off season and i wanted to kind of just do like a paddle and fin network overview for um any new listeners that are coming in uh paddle and fins had so much growth uh this year especially uh we just wanted to I said we again. I just wanted to take the time out to just give a little rundown on what the Paddle and Fin Network is. If it is your first time tuning in or, you know, you're not sure about what all segments we have and when they are and what we're all about. So, uh, made me a few little show notes here to try to make sure I don't miss anybody. And actually, for the people down at YouTube land or Facebook watching us, we've got a... We've got some stuff scrolling on the bottom of the screen, just where you can reach us on social media. Um, and I'll also be flipping up back and forth with our show schedules and stuff like that too. But yeah, for anybody that's not watching it, just uh, you can follow me at Down South Kayak Fishing on Instagram. You can follow Drew Gregory at Drew Gregory Fishing and then paddleandfin.com. Check our website out, give us a little breakdown of everything. Um, at Paddle and Fin on Instagram and the Paddle and Fin Network on YouTube. We're trying to boost up them YouTube numbers. We're going to be pushing for a little more content other than just shows uh, next year, you know, keeping up with our anglers on the water and, you know, do a little highlight reels and stuff like that. Just more stuff to keep you all entertained when you maybe get sick of listening to the to the same old, same old podcast stuff. But, uh, so yeah, well, we'll start with uh, what the Paddle and Fin Network is, and it's just that. It's just a network of some of the best fishing, kayak fishing, and now hunting podcasts uh, under one umbrella, which is Paddle and Fin. We have, oh lord, we have, we have a bunch of shows. I think we are up to, I think we're just about at 10. I could be wrong. Um most of us have got our hands full with it, um, but we have everything from this show, uh, The Reel Down, which, again, if you're a new listener, we do tournament talk. Me and Drew Gregory uh, go over what's happening in the tournament scene, how tournaments went down. He gives it a really cool technical. Uh, he's It's a really good like add-in. He, he'll get to some of the questions that I might not even think about, you know, uh, you just have to listen. Some of the stuff he gets into, he's a, he's a real smart guy, and he really knows how to get those juicy details out of people and 
keep that conversation rolling in a, in a different way. Um, but yeah, so just to give you an idea of all the shows, we'll start with how our rotation works. So we have a show every day, Monday through Sunday, uh, and we actually have enough segments to have multiples on some days. So we'll start with on Monday mornings, uh, start the week with, uh, the best show that Paddle and Finn has, uh, by numbers and i think we all just love listening to it uh the noob show with sean lavery uh it's a great great thing if you're just not getting into the into kayak fishing just in getting into fishing uh he covers tons of great topics and guests uh, he just dropped an episode on jerk bait fishing with uh, russ snyders who is a very very talented angler uh, really really good with a jerk bait um but you can go back there tons of noob shows back when he used to run the show with Ryan Milford. Um, everything from like the beginning of getting into tournament fishing, you know, first getting into your kayak, how to rig it, you know, safety tips, all sorts of just killer, killer information for people just getting into our sport. Or, I mean, even more so, I mean, anybody can go listen and pick up some information that maybe otherwise they had not heard about or overlooked or anything. Killer show. Uh, moving on from that, going into Tuesday, we have another great show, Bass Kayak and Beers, Armando Sola. Uh, Papi Chulo, as everybody calls him around our parts. Uh, really fun show. He just sits down, you know, cracks a beer. Everybody hangs out and talks. Uh, the way I asked him for a brief description of how he would put it, and he said just kicking back with some of the leading names in our industry and community, uh, you know, content creators, tournament anglers just whatever just really just talk about what's going on how they've got to where they get to just fun conversation uh moving on to wednesdays that's us that's the reel down that's uh you'll catch me and drew will come in here um usually the tournaments are really current so it'll be a tournament from the previous weekend um with drew being such a big national trail angler we usually cover all of those events uh for sure you know Bassmaster Series, the Hobie BOS Series, KBF, um, any anything like that. We get the winner on maybe first, second, sometimes third. Just kind of walk us through how the event went. Tell us like what struggles they ran into or how they went wire to wire. Um, all sorts of stuff. And it, it's a really good show because there'll be some diversity, diversity in like where people found them even in the tournament. You'll have a guy that was fishing offshore, a guy that was killing it up shallow. You know stuff like that. Uh, we also like to to get on other clubs. Uh, we'll reach out all over the country to different kayak clubs, give them a chance to have their spotlight if they've got a big event or anything. And uh, just for a piece of information, for if you're wanting your show on the reel down, uh, or you want to be, we we do a recap at the end of the show where I go over the tournaments from the weekend before. And just our little cap right now is we like to see a minimum of twenty five anglers, unless it's we probably should have done it a little different this year uh, and lowered it because I noticed a lot this year that a lot of the championships or the TOCs for local level stuff, you know, stuff like that was kind of invite only. And sometimes there was only like 10, 15 people. So I, I've made notes of that and we'll probably change that going into next year. But typically during the year, 25 anglers minimum, uh, we don't really cover uh, like month longs. We like to have the, you know, the weekend Saturday or two day tournament, three day tournament, whatever it is. Uh, every now and then we'll venture around with something. We like to cover some of the charity events like Jackson Orr's charity event he does. It's nationwide. Um, but yeah, we do. We, we cover just about anything and we'll be looking for new ideas, which I'll get into that towards the end of the show. Uh, moving on from there, you hit on uh, Thursday, which is the final cast, which is one of my favorite shows. It is, and I actually just noticed that I have the OG show on this reel on the bottom of the screen right, so I'm going to edit it while I'm talking somehow and change that. But the what the final cast is, is just Josh Eldridge and Brad Hicks going over all of the coolest gear in our world, whether it's you know rod companies, battery companies, lures. They go over literally just about everything. They have a bunch of great guests or you know, guys in the head of the company or that created the company or just they find the guys that who are going to have the details to that product. That way you get 
the best information possible from it. Um, for a good example, if you're a person that really likes Z-Man products, you need to go back and check out their show uh, shows. I think there's been three with Z-Man. I think uh, Glenn Young, I might have his name wrong, but they're always good shows. Everybody's always cutting up and laughing. It's just, it's a good time. Um, but yeah, I, I would probably say like if I had favorites, it would be the reel down, obviously, because I do the reel down, uh, the noob show and the final cast. Uh, I love getting all the new information and then I love catching up on the final cast to hear like I said, there's, there'll, there'll be little details you didn't know. Like you may own a bait. I'm just going to use a jackhammer as exam for an example. Maybe you think that it's meant to do this, and you'll find out talking to the people that created it that it actually is meant to do this too, or do you're doing it wrong, or whatever. But a really good show with a bunch of information. Um, and again, you can catch that on Thursdays. Uh, moving on to Fridays, it, it posts on Friday, and this show is live on Thursdays will be the OG show. And what the OG show is, is my boy Brian Schiller, and he's the creator of Paddle and Finn. That's why they call him the OG. Uh, and his co-host, Jay Randall, they just get after it. They usually have all sorts of different cool people from all over in the industry. You know, Mike McKinstry, Basquatch TV. Um, oh, Lord, I can't even start to name drop. They get tons of cool guests on there. Um, and that's just kind of the kickback show. That's just kind of about just a little bit of everything. They don't really settle into like one, you know, niche or genre. They just, you know, we do the after hour style stuff over there, which if you like, you'll listen to our shows. Most of the time we don't really, we try to keep the cussing down and be family friendly, you know, not get just kind of wild every now and then you'll see, a uh, one of the live shows say the, um, the after hours segment or the after hours episode, that's the one that you want to get in on because it's fun. They're live. Sometimes we'll throw the link out there so you can jump in with us, but it's just, we we'll usually either just cut up and make fun of each other or we'll hit a topic that's kind of tense in the industry or something like that. And we'll just kind of let loose on it. And sometimes you might see me with a bottle of whiskey and then it gets really fun. Uh, something else, uh, that happens on, Friday that will be coming too soon. We have picked up the uh, Bass Thumbs podcast. Bass, I'm struggling. It is the, I'm going to look it up so I don't say it wrong. It is the Bass Thumbs Fishing Podcast. Uh, can't wait to see it. We haven't got an episode of that put together yet, but uh, it's coming soon. It'll be on, it'll be posted Friday uh, at the same time as the OG show. Um, so, you know, can't wait for that. Uh, moving on from there, we have uh, two more days that are kind of like that. So on uh, Saturdays, you'll have the Feather and Fur Show with Brad Hurlaboss, which is awesome because it's taking kayaking into the hunting world. Um, it's not the only thing that gets talked about in that show, but he really does. Really, they do really, I say they, he does a really good job getting into the the hunting aspect of it. Kind of just giving, uh, giving kayakers, you know, if you're you're in a kayak and you've, you're also a big hunter. Like everybody that hunts has had some kind of property or something that they want to get to that's water access only. And they hit a lot of that and then just hunting techniques and all sorts of stuff. It's a really good show. I've got a lot of catching up to do on that one because it's, it's interesting and I've got too many podcasts to listen to. And it's the only reason I'm not up to date on that. So sorry, Brad. Um, also posting on that day, you'll have the off the water segment with our boy JP. Um, I'm trying to think of a good way to put his show. Uh, it's it's literally just that the things the to get into off the water, like you know they've talk, talked about you know cool food places to eat in certain areas when they were up in there. There's just is it's just a totally different show that you really need to check out to understand. Um, he does a great job with it though, and uh, I, I'm trying to think if there's any other like thing memorable about it. I could say not not saying that his show is not memorable or anything, but it's just a really different show that's fun to listen to. Like if you if you don't like if you're looking for like a break from listening to stuff that's going on in our industry or listening to tournament talk or anything, it's just a cool show that's just got that little bit different, you know. And and, and we appreciate it too because it, it is it's a nice break to check out something totally different and fun. Um, 
And then going into Sunday, we've got our man Dustin Nichols doing Chasing the Tide for all of our saltwater dudes and, and chicks that love fishing for those big, crazy saltwater fish, the beautiful reds, and Lord knows whatever else you get into down there. Dustin Nichols is the guy to listen to. Again, tons of great guests. Gets into the saltwater fishing, whether it be tournament or whatnot. It's just... I wish I could say more on it, but I am not versed in saltwater fishing at all. But I have listened to his shows, and they're really, really cool. Uh, so definitely, if you're into the salt thing or thinking about getting into it, check him out on uh, the Sundays. And uh, the last show that we have that airs on Sunday as well is uh, one of our newest shows, which is Mindset with Chris Slivka. And he really just gets just that. He gets into the mindset of these hunters and these anglers on you know, how they prepare, how they stay mentally positive. Um, just all of the things that you maybe wouldn't think of when you see like a successful hunter or a tournament angler. Um, we talked about it on our show last week. Sometimes you just think that it, well, it comes easy to them because they fish so much. That is 100% not the case. There's so much work, so much mental stress that you may not ever see about it or experience if you're not on that kind of level. And he dives right off on into that with, with everybody from, uh, he, he likes to listen to the tournament directors side of things, you know, the anglers. He's talked to a lot of the co-hosts on here, just all sorts of different, you know, topics just inside of that mindset. Uh, so that, that's kind of a rundown of our shows. Uh, Paddle and Fin Network's always growing. Um, I would not be surprised if we pick up a couple more podcasts because the more the merrier. We like having all these positive people with great content, you know, under our umbrella. Uh, I've been with them for, I think, about a year and a half now. It's been so much fun. It's like one big family. We we love each other, and then we all get mad at each other and yell at each other. It's just, it, I wouldn't have it any other way, honestly. Um, it's, it's really cool. You know, if you like to... One reason I would turn people towards our show is if you like a, like a neutral aspect on everything, we will touch on everything that's going on, whether it's a hot topic or not, but we have different outlooks on it. We're not paired or paid with anybody, so we're not, you're not going to hear us say we like or don't like something because we're supposed to. Like, it's real truthful. It's real just just neutral is the way we put it. We don't like to get drug into any BS. We don't like to bring anybody's BS in. We just get together, hang out, talk about all this stuff that we all love doing, you know, kayak fishing and now kayak hunting, you know, all those things. Uh, so moving on from that, uh, the last thing I really wanted to get into again, you know, it's going to be a short show. Um, anybody that's been a follower of ours on the real down knows that uh, Drew's going to be taking some time. They're having a kid. Um, so we'll be having some guest hosts come in to fill in for them. I'll be getting, you know, other paddle and fin hosts. We'll be reaching across for, we did it a little bit last year where we would just reach out to one of the tournament anglers and be like, Hey, come co-host. And, uh, we'd interview somebody with them as a co-host. So it gives it a cool aspect where one very serious angler talking to another very serious angler. So there are questions that come out that, maybe normally I wouldn't ask or like when Dan was with us that Dan wouldn't ask uh, my question for y'all and everybody listen to this, you know, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook, more messages over at paddle and Finn. I want to know if there's any guests you would like us to have or any guest host you would like us to have uh, and any topics. Uh, we're going into the off season a little bit. Uh, we're going to be covering the tournament of champions, uh, the Hobie tournament of champions coming up in Ufala. Uh, uh, November 12th through 14th, the big three day event. That's kind of going to be the last thing of the year for most everybody. Uh, whether you're fishing in that tournament or covering it, it's kind of, you've kind of reached that point at the end of the season. That being said, the season fires right back up at the end of January with the uh, 10 with KBF and the first Kissimmee or the first trail date at Kissimmee, uh, Florida. So we won't have too much time. We'll have about two months where, um, we won't be doing like active tournament coverage. We'll hit a few topics. Uh, I've got a bunch of ideas wrote down. Um, we might do an entire little set on 
uh, making a living as a kayak angler because there's quite a few people that are trying to do it seriously and some are being successful at it and there's a lot a lot to take in with that um go back and listen to our uh, most recent episode with Guillermo Gonzalez after his uh, his win at the KBF National Championship and the conversation just kind of went that way not necessarily making a living out of it but we started to pick up on there's a lot that is going on that you don't see as far as like what it takes to do that and that kind of drove me to want to hear a lot of that detail from some of the people that are leading the way right now that are trying to make a living doing this, that are trying to actively either push this sport or themselves to the professional level, you know, whatever that may mean to them, which arguably professional would, you would want to mean that you're getting paid to do this thing that you're good at and that you love doing. Um, but I, I'm down for ideas. I really want to hear from everybody. Uh, anything at all. Like, it can be a goofy show idea. We'll cover it. Um, I mean, sure, me and Drew like nothing more than talking tournaments, but we don't mind kicking back and cutting loose a little bit. Um, what we're going to try and do is uh, we usually take a break uh, over Christmas, New Year's time. We take two or three weeks off, I think, maybe longer. I can't remember. Uh, but we may try and uh, pre-record a bunch of stuff just to have a little bit of content coming out for you guys so that we can hit some of these other subjects that maybe we don't usually get to. Um but yeah, I really do. Message me, uh, message Paddle and Finn. Tell me what you want to hear. Uh, I mean, anything. If you had a really good, there was a big tournament that we missed, or maybe, maybe like the Queen City Kayak Anglers had a really, really big event that had huge numbers, and there's a story to it. But it was the same weekend as a bass event, which we ended up covering. So we kind of missed out on y'all. Message me. Tell me what the event was. I can go back and pull up the tourney stuff. I'll contact the people that were involved and we'll, we'll talk about it. It'll be fun. It doesn't always have to be a current tournament. We can, uh, like said in the podcast last week, sometimes the last time you tell the story is the best time you tell it. So who knows? You may come in and tell a story that for you is a couple months old or weeks old, but you may hit some details that you forgot about, or you may find that like excitement about it again. You know, when you, whatever happened in your day happened. Uh, but that's about it, man. I just wanted to do something a little different. Um, as long as I've been here, I haven't seen a, a moment where we just wanted to welcome all of the new listeners and just give a quick breakdown over how we do everything, um, what all of our shows are, in case you just look at it and don't understand what the titles mean. You know, Maybe you didn't know that the final cast was a gear show. Maybe you didn't know that I mean, the noob show is kind of obvious. Um, maybe you didn't know what the mindset show was, but now you do. So, uh, check it all out. Uh, remember to follow paddle and fan on everything we do, YouTube, Instagram, check out our websites. You can order merch and stuff like that. We got cool shirts and hoodies and hats and, you know, you rep us and we'll shout you out too. You know, uh, if you pick up a cool piece of swag, take a picture with it and tag us on Instagram, you know, let it, let us, let us know. We'll, we'll spread the love too. But, um, yeah, I, I just wanted to do that. Thank, thank all of our listeners. Uh, anybody that's been with the reel down a long time. I know we do have a lot of, uh, like long time listeners. Uh, they're usually the ones that give us comments and, you know, I'll hear about shows from them directly, you know, what they thought about it or, you know, just things of that nature. Uh, I appreciate y'all, everybody that listens to it, all of our new listeners and viewers. Uh, I know Try not to speak for Drew, but I know we, we all appreciate it. We love that y'all want to listen to us talk about it and hang out with us for that little bit of time. Uh, all the other shows do too. You make, we all like talking about fishing and all of this and having people that want to listen to it. And, you know, the, the paddle and fin following just makes it fun for us. It is, it is a grind sometimes to keep this up and keep rolling and, you know, it does get frustrating and then, you know, you'll get a message or talk to somebody in person or something and it just kind of rejuvenates and fires you back up. And uh, I've been kind of working a lot harder, uh, you know, outside of this as of late. So my focus hasn't been here and I apologize. We've still been knocking some good shows out, but I definitely haven't been giving it 100 percent and I, I want to get back to that. So 
Um, you know, that's that's my goal going in the off season and going into next year when the topics start rolling back up. And uh, yeah, man, we're just we're gonna keep rocking and rolling, and don't be afraid to to hit us up and be like, hell yeah, man, we love the show. You know, you might. You might be stopping this dude from threatening to quit. One of our hosts, you never know. So just let us know how we're doing. We really appreciate y'all. And uh, again, I just uh, swapped the banner for our people checking us on YouTube. There's our show schedule. Um, I'll talk to Brian. I'll see if I can get him to post the the show schedule up on our uh, Facebook and stuff. Just for anybody that maybe hasn't caught on to it yet or up until this show didn't know about the multiple segments. Uh Maybe we'll keep that up just so everybody can go. But again, thank everybody so much. Can't say it enough. Uh, we will see you next week. Uh, don't know if Drew's going to make it with us, but we will find something to talk about. Uh, or someone uh, might do a pre-show for the TOC if I can get a hold of any of the anglers. Uh, just like we did, we kind of had a pre-show leading into the KBF. So, uh who knows? But we'll see all y'all then. Again, so sorry for such a short, quick episode, but I wanted to take a take a day to do this little piece, um, talk to all of our new listeners, and we'll get right back to it next week. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to another killer episode on Paddle in Finn. Don't forget to go check out our website at paddle, the letter N, in fin.com. Don't forget to check out the YouTube channel at Paddle in Finn. If you got a question, comment, want to hear from a future guest on a future episode, feel free to email us at paddle, the letter N, in fin at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media at Paddle in Finn on Facebook and Instagram. Shout out to our show supporters, Angler, the Angler Button and app just makes for a better time on the water and creates a virtual logbook for every fishing outing out on the water. Shout out to Rocktown Adventures, located in Northern Illinois, for all your kayaking, camping, and hiking needs. Shout out to Jigmasters Jigs. When in doubt, get the jig out. Go to jigmasters.com.